गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर ऑलरेडी स्टडीड वट इज मीन बाई ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री वट इज मीन बाई सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री इज यूज ऑफ रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक दैट मीन्स यूज केमिकल्स विच आर मेड फ्रॉम रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेस ओवर एक्सप्लॉटेशन ऑफ नॉन रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेस और फीड स्टॉक विल डिप्लीट रिसोर्सेस और डिप्लीट ओजोन लेयर देर फोर ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ वी यूज रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक और रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेस दैट इज रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेस मेड अप फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चरल और बायोलॉजिकल प्रोडक्ट एनश्योर्स द शेयरिंग ऑफ शेयरिंग ऑफ फीड स्टॉक और रिसोर्सेस फॉर फ्यूचर जनरेशन देर फॉर यूज ऑफ रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेस प्रोटेक्ट द एनवायरमेंट देर फॉर दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल फ्रॉम ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री देन नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज रिड्यूस डेरिवेटिव देन वट इज मीन बाई रिड्यूस डेरिवेटिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज वन रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस इन फाइव स्टेप्स it consists of protection of some group and deprotection of some group then that step should be avoided that means unnecessary steps in the chemical synthesis should be avoided then another route for this chemical reaction uh, can be uh, developed therefore for example reduced derivative for example मेटा हाइड्रोक्सी बेंजाल डिहाइड मेटा हाइड्रोक्सी बेंजाल डिहाइड इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू फंक्शनल ग्रुप इफ वी वी हैव टू रिड्यूस ओनली अल्डिहाइड फंक्शनल ग्रुप इफ वी यूज कॉमन ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट देन बोथ फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स आर oxidize therefore here we have to protect hydroxyl group by some protecting reagents therefore this step is the unnecessary step for the chemical synthesis there is a two one is protection and another is deprotection of that hydroxyl group these two step, steps are unnecessary steps that should be avoided that means another option for this chemical synthesis should be developed by using benzyl chloride protection of oh group takes place and then use suitable catalyst for the oxidation of this aldehyde oxidation to form then deprotection of oh group next step is deprotection of oh group that is protected in four step by using benzyl chloride then we get our desired product meta hydroxy benzyl acid this is our desired product but in this reaction protection and deprotection these steps are unnecessary therefore for the preparation of meta hydroxy benzoic acid another suitable uh, route for synthesis can be developed therefore these two steps can be avoided in this way we can reduce derivative uh, by using a reduce derivative we can 
minimize waste product form in the chemical reaction then use of catalyst next principle is use of catalyst use of catalyst another principle for the green chemistry is use of catalyst we know that catalyst increases the rate of reaction by decreasing the energy of activation which is required for chemical reaction uh, catalyst also helps helps to increase the selectivity minimize the waste product and reduce reaction times that means reaction completed in minimum time and energy demand for example suppose one reaction takes place in one hour without catalyst but this reaction can be carried out in half an hour by using suitable catalyst therefore use of catalysis is also principle of green chemistry by using suitable catalyst we can increase the rate of reaction we can decrease the energy demand for that reaction and also selectivity is also increases by using catalyst the next principle is design for degradation design for degradation design chemicals that degrade and discarded easily therefore waste product should be degraded automatically to clean environment thus we know that in polymer chemistry one one of the classification of polymer is biodegradable polymer and non biodegradable polymer therefore for this design for degradation we have to develop or we should develop some polymers which are biodegradable therefore biodegradable polymers such as phbv polymer or nylon 2 nylon 6 polymers are biodegradable polymer therefore such a type of biodegradable polymer and pesticides are always preferred due to this pollution level minimize therefore chemical synthesis should be biodegraded automatically that means degradation takes place by environment that means microbes then 10th principle for green chemistry real time analysis pollution prevention real time analysis pollution prevention what is mean by real time analysis pollution prevention that means analytical methodologies should be developed or modify so that continuous monitoring of the manufacturing processes units is possible therefore we can detect how much level of pollution is created every day therefore we can analyze that pollution level in the chemical industries by using analytical methodologies or advanced equipments advanced instruments then last principle green chemistry last 12th principle of green chemistry next is 11th principle safer chemistry for accident prevention safer chemistry for accident prevention
what is mean by safer chemistry for accident prevention substances can be used in a chemical reaction should be selected in a such a way that they can minimize occurrence of chemical accidents explosion fire emission such a type of chemical synthesis should be developed that are the principles of green chemistry by using these principles of green chemistry we can minimize pollution level in the environment and protect the environment for the sustainable development of future generation then what is the role of green chemistry next point is role of green chemistry role of green chemistry green chemistry plays an important role to reduce pollution this is one of the most important aim of green chemistry for that we have to adopt green chemistry to reduce pollution level in the environment is the main role of green chemistry second role of green chemistry protect the ozone layer in a stratosphere protect ozone layer in a stratosphere which is essential for survival of life on the earth it ozone layer can protect living life on the earth from ultraviolet radiations from the sun which can protect our health for the living things this is the second most important role of green chemistry it protect the ozone layer in the stratosphere for the survival of living life on the earth third role of green chemistry is the it is useful to control greenhouse effect or global warming that are the these three main roles of green chemistry for this we adopt green chemistry for sustainable development for the future generation this is all about green chemistry then in next lecture we are going to or we will discuss nanochemistry nanotechnology